Good morning, everyone. You're welcome back to another interesting part of another class. I hope you had a beautiful night. You rested well. How has the online activities been going? I believe you've been enjoying yourself. Okay, let's start without wasting time. You know the rules. Mute yourself. If I want to ask a question, I will ask you to unmute yourself. We are going to have provocational studies this morning. And we are going to be looking at food. I know you all love food. You eat in the morning, you eat in the afternoon, you eat again in the evening. So today we'll be studying more about food. Our topic is classes of food. Let's look at our learning objective. Number one, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to define food. If anyone comes to you and asks what is food, you should be able to tell them the meaning of food. Number two, you'll be able to identify different classes of food that we eat, what they give us and how important they are to our body. Number three, we are going to look at the importance of food. Let's continue. We are told that food is a substance taken into the body to stay healthy and alive. Yes, it's true. Food is a substance. Food can be in solid form. It can be in a liquid form. For babies, they take liquid. Their breast milk they take is in liquid form. For adults, they take solid and they also take liquid. Liquid can come in form of juice, can come in form of water, can come in form of other drinks. But we will look at some of those liquids that we take today that are not healthy for uh, to our body. So having explained what food is, that food is a substance taken into the body, we, now, we are now going to look at classes of food. Number one class of food is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Another name for carbohydrate is energy given food. Now, what are those foods that will give us a, uh, will give us carbohydrate? I know you know some of them. If I ask you what you ate this morning, some of you will say bread. Bread is a very good source of carbohydrate. Some ate rice, some ate pasta, some ate indomie, some ate yam some eight potatoes all these are carbohydrates they give us energy to run around energy to walk the second class of food that we'll be looking at is protein protein we call it bodybuilding food because it helps to build our body and a good source of protein is egg fish meat i know that you like it too much many of you cannot eat without meat without protein inside it so protein builds your body it is a bodybuilding food we the third one is vitamin we call vitamin protective food what are these foods that will give us vitamin they are fruits and are vegetables they protect our body from sickness from illnesses from malaria and from being sick when we have enough vitamin in our body it helps to fight diseases. The fourth one is fats and oil. We can get fat from our vegetable oils. We get it from some of the ice cream we take. It's fatty. So fat and oil keep the body very warm. And the fifth one is mineral salt. And the last one here is water. Okay, let's look at this picture here. Looking at this picture, you will see different kinds of food here. We have our beef. I had already told us that this one that I am touching now is meat, which is protein. Another protein here is fish. Look at it here. So we have different kind of foods here. Now, looking at this one, you will see that we have our vitamins here. We have our fruits, we have our vegetables. Now let's look at the third one. 
we've talked about these classes of food so we're moving forward to the next one which is reasons for eating food why do we eat food we have so many reasons for eating food we eat food to grow for little children when they eat food they grow they 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 stay alive they stay strong just like for every other person food help us to grow food give us energy the energy you need to walk the energy to, you need to run around food helps the body to fight diseases like i told us that our vitamins they help us to fight diseases food also help us to stay healthy and alive let's look at here we have these six classes of food here as you can see what is this one here this is water what we have here is vitamin all oh, this one here will give us vitamin then we have our protein here then we have our carbohydrate and fat and oil let's continue let's continue now food is very very important for our health when you eat good food you stay healthy and those foods that will keep us healthy we call them balanced meal balanced diet the balanced diet is a meal that contains all the six classes of food a little here a little there put together you eat your rice the rice is prepared with stew they still have a fish or meat you have salt there you have water so we say that healthy food are those foods that provide the body with nutrients to sustain the body's well-being and retain energy let's look at the second one example of examples of healthy balanced diet that we need in our body there are water carbohydrate fat and oil protein vitamin all of this must be put together to make a healthy meal. When you don't eat a healthy meal, you become sick. When you don't eat a healthy meal, you will not grow well. For those of you that remove all those greens from your food, that means you want to be sick. That means you don't want to grow well. So eating healthy helps us to stay healthy, help us to grow well, and it also protects us from diseases, protects us from infections, it protects us from being sick. Now let's look at another important um, thing about feeding. Feeding can only be good when you eat well. So we now talk about feeding habit, which means the way you eat. Now, it is very important for you to eat well. Your feeding habit could be good, it can also be bad. And I know none of you want to have a bad feeding habit. What is the importance of eating well? It prevents you from being sick, like we have said before. It helps you to be smart. Now I will show you a picture here. If you look here, you will see that this child is malnourished meaning that this child is not feeding well. You see this one is obese, meaning that they eat too much of junk. This brings us to junky foods. You eat your pizza, you eat your shawarma, you eat ice cream often, you take lollipops. They are not healthy for you. Can make you to blow up like this. And when you don't eat at all, you look sick. They call it quite shock or you look malnourished. And nobody wants to stay around a child who doesn't look good so for those of you that when they give you food to eat you skip it it's not right now let's look at this example of poor feeding habit things you do that is not right not eating balanced diet when you are eating junky foods these are things that are not proper for you to do not eating food at all eating a giant portion you want to finish everything in the house not eating fruits and vegetables before we continue i want to share a video with us let's look at 
what this video is going to tell us about food. There are six main classes of food. They are carbohydrates, protein, fats and oils, vitamins, mineral salts and water. My name is Tobe and today we are going to learn the importance of carbohydrates the importance of proteins and the importance of fats and oils. Let's start with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are energy giving foods. During respiration, carbohydrates are oxidized to give energy and heat. The energy is used for work. For example, walking, running, talking, and breathing, while the heat is used to regulate body temperature. Some sources of carbohydrates are yam, rice, potatoes, bread, wheat, and so on. Proteins are body-building foods. They are needed in the body for building new cells, repairing damaged tissues, and for growth. When protein is not adequate in our body, it may result in poor health in an adult. But if the person is a child, it may lead to stunted growth, weak muscles, swollen legs, protruding stomach, and change of hair color. This condition in children is called kwashioko. The sources of protein are milk, fish, egg, chicken, meat, beans, yogurts, and melons. So, if you want to grow big and strong, make sure to eat foods with protein. Just like carbohydrates, Fats and oils are also energy-giving foods. Fats are solid at room temperature, while oils are liquids at room temperature. Fats are essential for providing warmth and protecting delicate organs. When carbohydrates are inadequate for respiration, fats are used to provide energy for the body. Major sources of fats and oils are palm oil, brown nuts, margarine, and coconut oil. Let's recap what you have learned today. You have learned the six classes of foods, benefits of carbohydrates, benefits of proteins, and the benefits of fats and oils. And we have now reached the end of this video. I know that you have learned quite a lot from this video. What are some of the things that you learned from the video or from all that I have said? Okay. Okay. I know that you have your answers waiting for me. We are ending this class now, but an activity has been scheduled for you in EduCare. I hope you will all make me proud. I attempt those activities.